Hello, Bruce Sullivan here. I'm the owner of Sullivan Roof Cleaning. Uh, we specialize in the cleaning of the wood cedar shake shingles. And uh, what I'm going to do today is I'm going to walk you through the complete process of what we uh, use in our cleaning solution, how we actually clean the roofs, and also explain what the benefits are of having your roof clean. I've got a few examples of a, a roof we did actually in Kansas City, this particular roof we just did here this spring, which is April 2017. Over here on the left, as you can see on this particular section of the roof, it's covered with moss. The little white speckled stuff that you see is a lichen, comes from the hardwood trees. And then this dark brown is what's called brown rot fungi. Uh, which is very damaging to the shingles because uh, uh, brown rot fungi doesn't have any chlorophyll and can't create its own food so it eats what's called lignin which is the glue in the wood uh, uh, that holds the cell fibers together. As you can see in the after we've got all that off. There's a couple dark spots here. This is nothing more than they're still wet because when I took these pictures the roof hadn't completely dried because this section was more so in the shade. As you can see over here it's completely dry. Over on this picture on the right, you'll see that this is another section of the roof, and it's the, in the very dark sections is again the brown rot fungi, and then we have some lichen and we have some moss in this particular area. There's a lot of moss, and then of course there's mildew, and then of course this is the after, after we've cleaned it all off. So in the rest of this video, which is about four minutes long, I'm going to show you our whole process and how we do and restore and extend the life of your cedar shake roof. For contact information, this is our website here. I advise you to go to that. There's a lot of before and after pictures, a lot of customer reviews. There's other videos. There's videos on the home page, again, that show me actually cleaning a cedar roof. If you'd like to contact me with questions or any concerns, this is our email address here. And then this also is my phone number, which you can text or call if you have any questions or would like me to contact you. We service all of Iowa. We service uh, Omaha out to Lincoln, Nebraska. We service south of us down into Kansas City, Kansas and Kansas City, Missouri, within a 75 mile radius of uh, Kansas City. So we'll continue on here. And uh, again, it's about four minutes long. I hope you find this educational and let's go ahead and get into the process. Yeah, let's take a moment here and explain about the uh, ingredients that's, that we use within our cleaning process. Uh, none of these uh, uh, ingredients that we use are caustic or toxic. Uh, won't harm you, your landscaping pets, or anything else. So I'm going to play a little video here. The first thing I'm going to actually talk about in the ingredients is, is let's talk about the uh, steam process oil, which is what this is. Helps rehydrate the shingles. And that's why we have it in our solution. This is the algicide, mildicide, and fungicide that's in, uh, included. This is a citrus base that helps open the pores of the shingles so that we can get all the infestations out. And this is nothing more than a biodegradable soap. So let's go ahead and now show you how I actually put the solution on the roofs. And we'll take you there. Yes, uh, let's talk about how we put the solution on your uh, cedar shake roof. As you can see, I'm standing on a ladder. And I'm doing everything with a non-pressure 12 uh, volt pump system. It's about 40 PSI. So let me play a little video here and show you how I actually apply the solution. As you can see here, I'm spraying evenly across all the shingles and engulfing them so that we can get all this moss and lichen and all this brown rot fungi and everything off of the roof. So I wanted to give you an example of how we put the solution on. That we, again, we don't walk on the roof. Everything's done from a ladder. And then I'm going to show you how we actually rinse it off in our next segment of this video. But I'm engulfing all the shingles. And that's how we apply the solution to every cedar. Now let's get to the rinsing part of these cedar shakes. As you can see, I'm standing on a ladder. I'm not walking on the roof. And I'm also using a garden hose pressure. Uh, never using a power washer. You wouldn't want to use a power washer on wood cedar shake roofs. And as you can see, there's a lot of infestations. These are just engulfed with the moss, lichen, brown rot fungi, and mildew. It's all over the roof. I've already rinsed all of this up in here. There's some dead pieces, and I'll rinse that down again when I'm completely done uh, removing everything. I'm going to play a little video and show you just how we do this and how we take it off with uh, not walking on the roof and using just a garden hose pressure. As you can see here, I'm, in, I'm cleaning every individual shingle as I go. I'm knocking all that lichen, moss, mildew, mold, and fungi off of the roof. 
and I'm doing that all from a ladder with a garden hose pressure. I'm going to take a, a, a few more minutes here and show you a few more examples of what our process does and then I'll end this video up and I'm sure you'll find that this has been very informative and we can extend the life of your roof also. As you recall this is the moss section I showed in the picture. Again it's got all the moss and the lichen and the brown rock fungi and this is what it looked like before we put our uh, solution on and uh, we actually killed everything and then of course we rinsed it and I'm going to show you what that looks like here in just a second but I just wanted to give you a quick overview of the live view of uh, how that works and this is the moss and lichen section yeah this is the uh, moss that's now dead as we put the solution on and killed everything as you can see it's all dead we've killed it and uh, we've killed all the lichen and the brown rot fungi and what we're going to do now is I'm going to show you again the after of once we've rinsed it off. I'd already showed you how we do that, so I'll show you that now. Yeah, this is the after. We've got all the moss off. As I explained in the earlier picture, the dark spots are nothing more than still wet shingles. Uh, they haven't dried out completely. When these dry out completely, they'll actually have kind of a buckskin light brown color that brought out from uh, cleaning out all the lichen, moss, mildew, fungi, and algae that was on the shingles. I'm going to play just a few seconds of the video so you can get a better look at the after. Uh, I'll zoom in. Here we go. And as you can see, they're all cleaned up and all the moss, lichen, mildew is gone. So that's how our process works. And now I'll end up. Well, I hope this has been informative and given you an idea of how our process works when we come out to extend the life of your cedar shake roof. Unfortunately, cedar shakes do need to be maintained. Actually, it's the only roofing material that has to be maintained. But if maintained, they have a very long lifespan, very, very long. As you can see in these pictures here, the uh, results from it are like these shingles are not that bad a shape. But when you first looked at this, you thought, oh my God, I'm probably going to need a new roof. You don't. You just need to have it clean. Same situation over here on the right. As you can see, these look real healthy. They are actually in very good shape and they're going to last a long time. Normally, you should clean a cedar shake roof every 8 to 12 years. And it depends on tree cover. Of course, in this right picture, there's a tree right over the roof and I recommended the homeowner get this uh, taken down. Again, we just cleaned this roof on uh, April the 25th, 2017. So this is our contact information again. Uh, Sullivan Roof Cleaning is our company. I've got Sullivan Cedar Roof Cleaning because we're talking about cedar roofs. And this is our website. You go there, you'll see videos on the home page that actually shows me cleaning another roof that's in a lot worse condition than this roof is. And we also talk some more about the ingredients we use in our solution. You can contact me at this email address if you have any questions or concern, or you can call or text me at this number here. Again, we service all of Iowa. We go to Omaha as far out as Lincoln, Nebraska. We go down into Kansas City, Kansas, Kansas City, Missouri, all in about a 75 mile radius of those locations. So we'd like to hear from you so that we can come out and use the process we just showed you that we use and extend the life of your roof. And we hope to hear from you soon. So that's Bruce Sullivan with Sullivan Roof Clean out of Des Moines, Iowa. Thank you and have a nice day.